And we're back. If you just tuned in, this is www.arkansashowcase.com. Took me a while to get that one out. <laughs> www.arkansashowcase.com. That's our new logo there. Yay! And what are we doing today? We are keeping people from freaking out about this coronavirus because yep. they're saying that they didn't know how to cure it. Everything's happening, yep. and they actually talked about possibly bringing leeches back into the fray to have some kind of what? cure for this coronavirus. What? Yeah, that's one of the new treatments that they say they might leeches be. Leeches are going to start bleeding people? <laughs> yep. And guess what? If they bring back other kinds of cures that so-called were so miracle-working, you know, back in the good and old days, because we're talking about spring break last week, and, if you, and now we're going to talk about what happens at spring break afterwards when you come back and you're burning. <laughs> yep. And we don't mean from a sunburn. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Because leeches also were a treatment for what, Roy? Well, I don't know. I never <laughs> use damn leeches. It's not gingivitis, but gonorrhea. Yeah. Oh, so if you go out really? there and you got freaky on one of the weekends. And 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 v well, they don't call it VD anymore, do they? That's Veterans Day. <laughs> or Valentine's Day. <laughs> Valentine's Day. Now they call it what? STDs. What is that? Sexually transmitted diseases. <laughs> yep. Or lunch. <laughs> <laughs> lunch, damn it. Yeah, leeches. So no. they would actually throw them on there, throw them on your junk. Was, you get what do they do for You getting your junk sucks. What got you? <laughs> the STD. <What? laughs> you can do that? <laughs> you can get your junk sucked for $50? <laughs> or a leech. But yeah, I mean, that, what happens if you're a gay guy and you got it up your butt? Do they just shove leeches and suppositories up there? Only if you've been nice and it's Christmas time. <laughs> or females. I mean, what do they do to the females? I mean, they just, they just have them crawl up inside there. <laughs> the doctor? <laughs> yeah. There you go. They put leech foods <laughs> inside there. Oh, they come, no, for girls, it'd be different. You know, they, they kind of use leeches on one time a month. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> and then they get real fat. You can't get them out. You got to operate on them. <laughs> it's gross, it's gross, it's gross. <laughs> but yeah, it was ridiculous. The different kinds of miracle cures that they used to have back in the olden days for STDs. I mean, even in the Egyptian days, they had have, STDs back then. Yeah, it was actually crazy. It came, some of those came from sheep banging sheep. I think that's bad. Right. <laughs> that's not bad. <laughs> but no, I think uh, uh, syphilis came from sheep. The uh, sheep herders were out there, and there was nothing there until they saw a, a star or whatever. And they said, "Well, that's, that's hey, that sheep was pretty <laughs> it was nice blinded. Yeah. I didn't know it was a sheep. <laughs> I didn't know it was a sheep because the women were hairy back then. <laughs> and they didn't know. They didn't jump right on it. <laughs> and my wife wasn't around. You got to do something before you go visit <laughs> yeah. the, the the virgin. <laughs> the virgins? What are you talking about? Oh, the virgins? You talking about Jesus? <laughs> What sheep or herders are going to visit virgins? <laughs> Wait, well, the what are you talking cure, about? These miracle cures went off into the ditch quick. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you. Oh, Jeff and his chief herders, and they're going out to get virgins. <laughs> but no, the Egyptians, they would have sandalwood and the same kind of sandal. Sandal wood. Yep, sandalwood. Is that, is that and, what you make your, your sneakers with? <laughs> I don't know. Sandal? A sandalwood, and they had some kind of um, wood oil extract that they'd put on your junk if you started <laughs> having sores and flesh rotting off. Uh, uh, I like that one about the book. Uh, well, Tommy, it looks like you've been a bad boy. <laughs> now, let's just see your wiener. Put it inside my book. I got a dictionary right there. Come on, Tommy. You know what you did wrong. Let's slam it now around that wiener. Ah! And that actually is what they did. I mean, they said, could you imagine a, a kid just come back from summer camp or whatever and have to get his stuff slammed in a book? <laughs> Oh, that was war and peace. This is going to hurt like hell. <laughs> yeah, they said because sometimes you have an STD, they'd have sores that were filled with pus and uh, everything. So they would. They would actually take your then junk. Then you got to turn that back into the <laughs> library. <laughs> I never got to see what happened to Harry yeah, Potter. Look at this. Oh, man. <laughs> and that's, that's not... Because I was excited. That's because I had an STD. <laughs> I don't know what you think of that. <laughs> but yeah, they would actually slam your junk inside of a book. Or if they didn't have a book, they would just use two heavy objects. <laughs> like, like what? Two brick? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There you go. <laughs> yeah, 
<laughs> when you wake up and that get that thing that looks like hamburger now, it wasn't your wiener. <laughs> but I mean, what do you do for a girl? But you're okay. not itching anymore, are you? You just take it and, okay, spread them out there. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Man, that would hurt. Lady they take a, a take a dildo and just kind of hammer it up in there until it hurts. <laughs> How does that work for a female? I don't know. I mean, you're talking about all these things for men. <laughs> well, what is it? Did they just let the women die? No, women they put in prison. prison. Huh? They put women in prison. If they had STDs? Yep. Because wow. they said, yeah, back in, you know, when all these military men, you should know you're in the military. All these well, military put me in prison. We're getting sick and STDs. They're saying it's because they were sleeping around with unfit, unclean women. So if there's a woman that had an STD, they just locked her up. Did they kill them? <laughs> nope. They burned them at the stake. <laughs> that didn't kill them? They just, they just hurt like hell. <laughs> oh, we're going to burn you, but you won't die. Now, burning, that is... <laughs> That is something that they would do. Used to. Uh, like gonorrhea and what? syphilis. If you got what, sores, they would actually burn you. emergency care clinic are you going to? <laughs> they would actually burn you with an iron. Just like they had on the cattle. Uh, they'd actually get a branding iron uh, and burn and cauterize all the sores but, on your junk. What? Oh, what if you just had a... Uh, it just hurt when you peed. <laughs> I mean, what do they do with that one? Well, they just shove it right up in there? They do. They have urethra cleaning. Urethra uh, irrigation urethra? is actually what they called it. So what, they, the, what the hell does urethra mean? <laughs> that sounds bad in itself. Oh, I got urethra. Is it terminal? <laughs> Radiation. <laughs> well, we're I'm going, going up in there. Yeah, they'd actually just get like a small little hose like they have at the dentist. One of those little thin hoses. What? Go in there and just scrape it out with water. What? <laughs> they would basically you tell me, power you wash the me, inside of your junk. They take a, what do they call those, uh, those toothbrushes? <laughs> water pick. They take a water pick and go in your wiener. Oh, again, what happens with females? How <laughs> they, do you do with that? They get to they, laugh and taunt you. They, they just have douches? <laughs> yes, that's actually really? one of the things they do. Yep. That's how douches what? got started. What? Cause they I, thought, I thought they got started with salad dressing. <laughs> and that was Paul Newman. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, I think see, you're making all this nope. shit up. There's no uh, way urethral irrigation. There's that word again. Uh, <laughs> urethral. Yep. Or they would brand you with an actual iron, just like they did the cows. Uh, so they brand you in your butt and post to cure your wiener? <laughs> no, they'd brand your junk. Uh, they'd brand actually the sores on there. They'd cauterize all those so little I, sores. I mean, what if you didn't have sores? <laughs> well, then you wouldn't be going to get checked out. I mean, this is just for gonorrhea? Or, I mean, uh, syphilis? No, well, I don't know what the hell's it for. <laughs> God damn it, I'm confused. It's for a hangnail. <laughs> Herpes, that's what I was trying to think of. Herpes or genital warts. <laughs> Which one is it, Jeff? Damn, I need Herpes that. sores. Yep, exactly. Cauterizing herpes sores. Oh, so that means uh, you'd slap a brandy knife around your lips. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> that hurt like hell. Oh, I knew I shouldn't have went down there. It was dark down there, and I went down there. Uh, but the... Uh, you're talking about slamming yeah, the junk in the get, penis? Who's going to the... That this is like the dark is where they were talking about the word the clap came from. From the book? Yep. Because it clap that book around your junk. Hey, yeah. <laughs> and then all the people that were taunting would clap in appreciation uh, and taunting. Did they tell you like a, a stick in your mouth and say, this is going to hurt, Tommy. <laughs> I don't care if you are seven. <laughs> um, I told you not to go around that Boy Scout leader. Damn it, Tommy. Now they're bankrupt. <laughs> they would have sweat baths. <laughs> Wet backs. <laughs> What is this? Some kind of Mexican thing? <laughs> they have, some... they have, a, have them come over and they'll take care of you. <laughs> STD, sleep with that Hispanic maid. Okay, what, that what are you talking about, wet backs? Sweat bath. Oh, sweat backs? Yeah. <laughs> baths. Baths? Like a shower. They'd take these <laughs> strips of cloth that were dunked in um, like mercury and zinc and lead. And they'd uh, coat you with that until you're basically just like a human sauna and try and burn all that crap out of there. What's this thing with burning? Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> they didn't have anything with ice cubes? <laughs> no. They had weightlifting. 
So what they were saying okay, is that... Okay, Tommy, you got to clap from that dirty damn bitch down the street. You're going to go out there and lift weights till that shit's gone. <laughs> you're not... you're going to be pumped. You won't be able to have sex again or you might go senile, but you'll be pumped up when you die, Tommy. <laughs> not lifting with your arms, Roy. Really? Yep, because they were saying that if you uh, were if you were a stronger man, you wouldn't be caught getting these STDs. Yeah, that shit. you got it because you're weak. So they actually would well, attach. If I got lifted my junk, I'll die. <laughs> they would tie that weights thing, to your I think, junk I think and have you <laughs> and have you live weights with your junk. Oh yeah. <laughs> You'd be like Pie Pie. <laughs> pie Pie? <laughs> oh, you Pie Pie. Hey, lift that up there. Come on, boy. Feel the burn. <laughs> <laughs> that was why you got in, the, in, the, in this predicament uh, in the first place because uh, you felt the who burn. Who came up with that? I mean, some see, Arnold Schwarzenegger came up with it. <laughs> you must be a weak man. <laughs> Here, tie this dumbbell to your. Oh, uh, put it in my butt. I'll squeeze it. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, no, that's. <laughs> That's Van Damme. He pops, he pops walnuts really good. Oh, yeah. You lift weights with your junk. You just tie it on there. I don't know how that would help. What happens if you get a bowed up junk? You like brush your teeth with it? What? <laughs> well, I'm, I'm lost it somewhere. What the hell are we talking about? That bowed up junk and you're brushing your teeth. I'm just lifting weights a minute ago. And now we're brushing our I teeth mean, with our wiener. <laughs> I don't know. I've never uh, lifted weights with my junk. Well, I never brushed my teeth with them. <laughs> because you haven't lifted weights with it. <laughs> when it gets strong, it can, it can drive a car. <laughs> <laughs> it, can, it can launch a space shuttle. What the hell are you talking about? It can about? do all kinds of crap. Uh, <laughs> man, this is getting out of control here. Uh, lift the weights with your wiener and then brush your teeth with it? <laughs> Z-penal irrigation. That's what it was called. That's, that's what he used, like, uh, uh, what do you call it? A <laughs> uh, hose? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, you stick that hose up there, and it just sprays it out. It power washes the inside of your oh. junk. Oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> that's disgusting. <laughs> but, but again, you know, there's a lot of famous people died from syphilis. You know, Al Capone died from syphilis. He did. He did. Mary Magdalene. Ma Mary Magdalene died from syphilis? <laughs> How the hell did that happen? <laughs> Jesus was unprotected? What the hell? <laughs> it was a I'm guy. sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, you're always goddamn sorry, aren't you? Jesus. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> uh, she was a whore, wasn't she? Be well, yeah. Before. <laughs> well, before what? Before Jesus. Before the leeches? Before the leeches got her. <laughs> and she lifted weights with her labia? <laughs> with her what? Her lady M. <laughs> <laughs> Who the hell's that? Who the hell's Lady M? <laughs> oh, labia, you dumbass. Oh, labia. Oh, that, I don't know what that means either. <laughs> Her Ursa Major and Minor. <laughs> or those constellations. I never know. So basically, we're just wanting to say. Oh, man. You, you guys are <laughs> fucked. <laughs> basically saying if you gotta go through all that man you want some better insurance <laughs> yeah that would be scary so they thought that kind of stuff actually cured stds and now they're wanting to bring some of, some of them back for this well they should just do like korea did they just had a uh, somebody became infected with the, that virus thing right they didn't quarantine they shot him <laughs> killed him and there we're done this is how we handle it over here <laughs> how are you feeling i'm, I'm good not a problem no snuffy yeah, nose for me. Uh, one guy uh, tried to sneak out of his house without his mask on, and uh, they the Chinese car threw him back in the room, and then they welded his door shut. <laughs> Motherfucker, you're not getting out of there again, are you? <laughs> we'll oh, brand you. Oh, that's, no, you can't. You can't go outside without a mask. Well, they'll brand them. <laughs> yeah. They'll do a urethral irrigation. Oh, on these we made a mistake. We brand you with a scarlet letter. Oh, we didn't know. We thought you just fooled around. We didn't know that you really were a skank. <laughs> oh, so don't worry about the coronavirus. A lot of the worst things that you can get. So if you're on spring break, get any STDs. <laughs> if your doctor starts to <laughs> poking around with a cattle prod, yeah, he's or, trying to. Uh, I'm looking for a book over here in the library. I'll be right back. <laughs> you better get the hell out of there because yeah. you're going to get the clap. <laughs> God. That's what that you said. You said we clapped the book. That's what they said. 
That's where that name came from. And then you, you have Mr. Slushy down there for the rest of your life. Won't be able to do shit with it. You might you should have just kept the clap. Uh, freaking bookmark. That would suck. Bookmark. <laughs> oh, look at that boy. I'm done reading right here. Let's, give me your wiener, kid. Boom. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know where I left off on that. <laughs> but now, if you wanted to give them a comic book, they might want to do that a whole uh, bunch of right times. Right on Veronica's face, <laughs> god damn it. <laughs> <laughs> on the Archies. <laughs> so, but we're out of here. Just make sure you tune in to this show every single week, and we'll give you information. And be like sure this. to spread the news. <laughs> Not like that. Not right there. But anyway, check us out on www.arkansasshowcaseradio.org.com. And we got tons of music out there on the web page for everybody. We've got lots of uh, comedy. We've got lots of web uh, blogs. And we've got some good advertisements like AR Cannabis. Even though uh, Facebook doesn't like the word cannabis, they don't. They don't like it. Uh, you know, but you, if you want to go to some of these other websites, look up stoners. That's how you get around the word cannabis exactly. and weed. So you look up stoner web pages in the Facebook, and that's how you'll find uh, web pages like ours. <laughs> and you can find some SDPers. And Jeff, pairs. we're going to get to know his uh, views here in about a week or two on what he thinks of the edible cannabis. I think it'll be awesome. <laughs> it'll be awesome. <laughs> Jeff just be sitting there like his shit just got slammed in a book. <laughs> but anyway, we'll be getting all that back to you. But check us out at www.arkansasshowcaseradio.com. I'm burning a little bit. I'm burning. I'm, I'm going to go get a leech. <laughs> go get a leech. But anyway, check us out. Bye. Be sure to share and subscribe. And we're out of here at www.arkansasshowcaseradio.org.com. Oh, uh-huh.